guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are here to plan out the month of April 2021 in my Planning to Prosper digital all-in-one life planner. So I have the monthly view in front of me and I thought instead of recording my screen and doing a voiceover and stuff, um, that it would be fun to just kind of walk through this whole process together. I think it's a really great way to learn a little bit more about digital planning. I've gotten a lot of questions lately about like, best ways to learn, like, you know, how to get the hang of digital planning if you've re recently switched to it and things like that. I personally feel like the best way to learn is to watch lots and lots and lots of YouTube videos. That is personally what I did. And then you just have to practice a whole bunch and eventually, you know, it becomes second nature to you just like anything else. So, I thought it would be fun to kind of just go through the process a little bit more. So this will be probably a little bit longer of a video, but I want to next just kind of pick out which sticker set we're going to be using today. I've been gravitating towards this Lavender Blossom kit. I thought about doing the Easter one, but I think I'm going to go with the Lavender Blossoms today. So this kit is available in my shop. I do have it linked in the description box down below for you if you want to check it out, but I have to say purple is my favorite color and I think that this is probably my favorite kit for April. So I'm going to go ahead and click the little pane here, the little window pane, and click open in a new window. And please forgive me, I am all stuffed up. My allergies right now are like out of control, so I feel like I'm just constantly like mouth breathing so I hope that it's not coming across that way as I'm filming but I am kind of congested and just like foggy headed at the moment uh, so I got away from taking my allergy pill every night I used to take it every single night before bed and then I don't know I think during the move or something when things got like really crazy I sort of just fell out of the habit of it and I need to get back to it because now a lot of stuff is like blooming and everything in our area and so my allergies have been a little out of control. But I'm going to scooch that over there and the first thing I'm going to do is put in my washi I think. So I know that April starts on Thursday and then let me look here on the last day of April. Do do do. Let me see. It is a Friday. So I did get some questions too about the monthly view because I know there are some months where you are going to have um, almost need like a sixth row of boxes. The reason why I chose to not do a sixth row of boxes is because the rows, like the boxes themselves would have been so, so tiny. I think May is one of those months where you need like an extra square um, in the monthly view and I have a workaround for that so during my May monthly plan with me definitely stay tuned for that video because I'll show that little hack and stuff like that. As far as the washi we're going to use I think I'm going to definitely go with this like chevron one with the purple like lavender flowers. I think that is just super pretty. Make sure images is clicked on and we'll copy and paste that over here. And here's a little trick to um, with the digital stickers. So for good notes, for some reason, when you copy and paste it in with the lasso, it's kind of crooked. I don't know if you guys can tell that's sort of at a slant. So to fix that, you want to do the little photo tool right up there and you just tap on it and it'll straighten it out for you. Plus I find the photo tool a little bit easier to use for like resizing purposes because you can also crop it. So the first is on a Thursday, so I'm just going to kind of zoom in here get this to the width I want and then we'll crop it down. So I think that looks good. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of take a look at where I need to crop it. So it looks like where that flower is right where the leaves are is where I need to crop it. So I'm going to click crop and then we'll scooch this on over. Sometimes it takes a little trial and error, but hopefully I got it. We will see. Yep, see it's a little bit short, so what I'll do sometimes is I'll just take this tool and kind of stretch it because it doesn't look super funky. Sometimes it does, I think it depends on the design, but sometimes it looks just fine, so there we go. Let's see if I can scooch that over a little bit more. Needs just a touch more, just a little smidgen poo. <laughs> 
oh, I think that actually looks really good. So there we go. Now the washi's in there and then we need some washi down here as well. So now that this is the proper like height and everything that I want, so I'll just copy that same piece of washi and then paste it down here and I will just kind of put that where I want it and again look at where I want to crop it. So I'm going to take the photo tool, tap on it, click crop, and then we'll scooch it over a little bit. And I want to do there, so I'm going to tap and crop again. Sometimes it helps, I think, to do that in like little stages. And then there we go. I think that's good. Well, here, we'll do a little, a little bit more. Okay, perfect. All right, so now my washi is in. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my date dots. For that portion of the video, I think I am going to speed it up just because it's a little bit of like a longer process, but I wanted to show you a trick before I actually do that. So I'm gonna copy and paste all these date dots over. I only need 30 because there's 30 days in April. And so I've got them all copied over, so my tip for date dots is to size them all at one time. So we'll focus on the 28 right there. And I like to start kind of small and then gradually build up. So watch the 28, so I'll kind of stretch it a little. And it looks blurry right now, I know. Um, for some reason it does that when you first bring them over, but once I tap off of it, you'll see that it's nice and clear. So I think that's gonna be good kind of hard to tell sometimes when it's a little bit blurry but yeah I think that's good that's a good size so that's my little tip is just to size one but have them all lassoed at the same time and then that way they'll all be the same size and then you can kind of drag and drop them where you need them so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video at this point and then I'll come back and you know we'll complete the rest of the monthly spread got all 
of our date dots in so we can start putting in our little events and things like that. I also really like to put the weekend banner up here. So this is a Monday start planner. Um, I also do offer Sunday start planners, but I really like putting the like banner above here. And I think I'm gonna put, hmm, I think I'm gonna put maybe the gray. Yeah, I'm gonna put the gray banner up here. We'll do a little decorating. So I just kind of like to center that, that K. I think that looks good. So I'll put a little weekend banner up there. And then as far as what we have going on this month, so here's another little trick. Um, I know that Maddie had no school in March. I personally love using the text tool, but you don't need to redo your text every single like time you plan out the new month. This is the beauty, by the way, of digital planning is that you can easily copy and paste things. So I'm trying to see, let's see. So here's no school. So I think, let's see. I'm gonna try to just take a little bit of that. Yeah, there we go. And so we can copy that. And then we can go back to April because that's the font and the size that I want and everything. So this is kind of perfect. And then you can easily just copy and paste from another month, which is so nice. So I'm gonna put no school up here. And then I'm also gonna put in my payday. So again, I can go back to March. And I've got my paydays right here. So I'm gonna take my lasso and we'll copy and paste that. And you can also just hold down your pencil and click open link instead of turning the pen tool on and off. I always forget about that, but. So as far as paydays are concerned, I get paid on the 9th with my full-time job. I think I am gonna make that a smidgen smaller too. So I'll just copy and paste that one because I think, yeah. And then I get paid on the 23rd. And then for Etsy, I get paid every Tuesday. So I'll put that in. I like to just kind of track my paydays throughout the month so I kind of know what's going on. I do this in my budget planner as well, but I like doing this in my life planner too. And then I also get paid, usually if YouTube is on like the 21st. So we'll put that in as well. So there's all the paydays. And then Maddie does have a half day every Wednesday. So I'm gonna put that in. And again, I can take my lasso and we'll just copy that and paste that. And then we'll go to Wednesday. And again, I'll make that a little bit smaller. And then we can just copy and paste the smaller one. I think I'm gonna move that down for a minute and put half day there. And then we'll pull that back up there. And then we'll do half day down here. Okay, so now that is all in. And then I'm gonna go back to my March monthly view because I kind of just like to see, you know, what I did this last month and stuff, like what I did to celebrate. So I always like to put monthly to-dos and, you know, birthdays and anniversaries off in the sidebar. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna continue to do that this month. So we'll do that. We'll go to our headers page, which is on sheet four, and we'll do to do. It's that dark green color that's picked up in the leaves of the flowers. And we'll take our photo tool and just kind of stretch that out. And then I want to grab my celebrate header, which is right here. So we'll copy and paste that as well. And we'll stretch that out and get that to kind of match the size as best we can. I think that looks pretty good. So then I'll just take my lasso and kind of pull this down a little. 
Okay, as far as to-dos are concerned for the month of April, I'm going to be focusing on my June kits. I'll make sure it's a ball pen, and then I like the .7, yeah. Whoops. So, June kits. Um, we need to do our financial advisor meeting. We need to, oh, and that's the other thing, yeah. Hmm. What did I have on my to-do list for March that I didn't get to? We did taxes, I did my meal planner, oh, my phone planner, scripts bundle. Yeah, so we'll put phone planner and scripts. Here I go, needing to sneeze again. So hopefully I can get this done this month, we'll see. Phone planner. and scripts bundle. And if there's anything else specific that you guys want to see in the shop, definitely either message me on Etsy or comment below and let me know because I'm always looking for some ideas of what you guys are looking for and everything. So definitely let me know. Okay, as far as birthdays and everything are concerned, on the 13th is my mom's birthday. And then we've got my niece Lila, her birthday's on the 19th. And my stepdad's birthday is on the 26th. And my Aunt Nancy's birthday is on the 28th. And I need to be so much better about like sending birthday cards and stuff. I feel like I'm just constantly behind the ball on that. <laughs> so that is something I want to work on. Um, and then I'm gonna find, I think, some balloons or something to put over here. I think that would be cute. I'm sorry if I'm out of frame a little bit, but I'm gonna put these little balloons over here. Let's kind of do that. I think that's cute. Okay, so that's our sidebar area. And then I usually like to also put, you know, some like little decoration or something. So I've got a couple springtime Sticker, so I've got this little butterfly. I think that'll be cute in here, so I'm gonna put a little butterfly right there. I might move it later, but put a little decoration. Okay, and then we get into the actual monthly plans and everything. So I've got a list of everything going on. So I did no school, and then I put in all the birthdays. And then Julia has an appointment on the 15th, I believe. And I don't remember, I think her appointment, let me look at Andrew's text. Cause he sent me a text letting me know. Oh, and my pickup order is ready at Target. Um, 3.30, 3.30 is her appointment. So, and that's for her dermatologist. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead first and we'll put Easter in. And I think for that, I'm actually going to grab, I had done a um, He Is Risen little clip art over here. And I really love the look of that. I wanna do more stickers like that with text and stuff in them. I got some experience with that with my meal planner stickers and they were so much fun to create. So, um, and you know what I can do actually is, this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to still copy and paste that over, but then I'm gonna replace the, let's see, cause I can move. Yeah, I'll, yeah, there we go, okay. And then I can move this and we'll grab the wreath that matches the rest of the kit. And I'll kind of put that here. Maybe move it up a little. And then I'll take my lasso 
and we'll move that up. I think that's so cute. Yay! <laughs> I love the look of that. It's so cute. Okay, so we've got Easter, and then we have my friend Kelsey's baby shower. She is having a little boy and a little girl. She's having twins, which is super exciting, so I am very excited for her baby shower. Um, okay, so how do we want to mark that? I want to do something fun for it, so I think I'm going to grab maybe this light pink one this little square and we'll put that there and then I've got these little icons and I think I have some balloons yep so grab some balloons and I'll put that like maybe towards the top there and then I think I've got, hmm, what do I want to use? <laughs> oh, you know what? This would be kind of cute. Let's see. Let's see if I can like layer this on top. And then maybe we can just kind of put this, maybe make it a little smaller and put it in the corner. Yeah, I think that's okay. Um, and then I'll do, here's what we'll do. We'll put one o'clock to three o'clock PM. We'll put that at the top and then we'll put it these. I'm going to do baby's shower. Plural. <laughs> Let me move that up a little bit. Oops. I need to click off images for the lasso. Otherwise it picks up everything. So if you want it to just pick up your handwriting like that, then you want to make sure that images is clicked off for the lasso tool. So I think that looks pretty cute. I'm happy with that. So we got her shower in and then we have Julia's appointment. So for that, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab a appointment label and that's going to be on the 15th. Hopefully you guys can see everything. Sorry in advance if I've been like out of frame or anything like that. Hopefully I haven't, but I think I'm gonna use this light pink one again, or do I wanna do green? I think I'll do the light pink. And we'll paste that down. And again, I'm gonna grab my photo tool. I just prefer, you can always resize with the lasso. I just personally prefer the photo tool because you can um, also like stretch it using these little arrows here and stuff so that's just a preference but you don't have to do that okay and then I think I'm gonna grab a little stethoscope or something and we'll put that up here and I'll do let's see Three, ooh, that looks really thick for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I think I was pushing too hard. Three, 30 p.m. I'm gonna put Julia's I'm going to just need to take um, part of that day off. I think I'm going to redo this part. Okay. Julia's appointment. So that is there. Do I like the stethoscope there? I don't think I do. 
think I'm just gonna take that off and then again we'll make sure images is checked off and I'm gonna move this up and try to center it right there okay so now we've got Julia's appointment and then I've got new releases for planning to prosper on Friday the 2nd so that's coming up later this week very exciting I'm gonna be sharing all of my June kits so to share that, I think I'm gonna do something a little different and I'm gonna grab a like post-it note. I think I'm gonna do this lighter pink one again. And we'll copy that and then I'll make sure images is on over here. And so I'll just do this. Or do I want it to be like straight? Maybe, yeah, let's see. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab a thumbtack from over here. There's the thumbtack. Sometimes when I wanna zoom in, it can be really challenging to fit everything in the frame. But I'm gonna just like kinda slant that over there. And then I'm gonna put um, planning. Well, actually, I'm just gonna do new releases. And we'll do June. And June kits. And I'm gonna move it up just a smidgen. good okay so new releases June kits and is that everything that I've going on I think one thing I would like to start doing I'm gonna um, grab and I'll show you guys kind of what I mean so I'm gonna grab a Polaroid I want to show you guys how this works so ooh, you know what I'm gonna do okay I'm gonna temporarily move this little butterfly and I'm gonna grab this green Polaroid and we'll put it here. And we'll just kind of center that a little bit to size it where we want. And then I'm gonna grab a photo. And let me see which photo I'm looking for. It's Is it this one? Yeah, that one's pretty cute. So it's um, this one, I think. I don't know, let's start staring at it. Is it this one? No. I think I just tapped on that one. This one? Yeah. I think I want to put like a favorite memory for the month or something like that in here. So this is how you can kind of size the picture how you want. So I'm probably going to just do that and then I'm gonna crop it a little bit actually you know it'd be easier I think it'd be easier to layer the Polaroid on top so so we're gonna cut that and then I'm going to kind of blow that up a little bit and then We'll try pasting that on top. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Let's see. I want to get like a cute picture of Jules doing kites and stuff. But it's kind of a weird picture because it's really long, which I could, you know what I could do is I could like just make this bigger. That works. So we'll kind of get it where we need it to be. It might look a little funky. We'll see when I zoom out. Or it might be cute, I don't know. I think that's pretty cute. I mean, it doesn't look like a Polaroid, <laughs> but I could also x -nay on the Polaroid and just put the picture there. I just want like a way to put like a favorite memory or something there, you know? I think that would be fun. 
is add more pictures to my spreads. That's kind of what I'm wanting to do. So I'm gonna put the little butterfly down here and we'll just, yeah, we'll just add this picture down here. And it's just so cute. I love this picture because she's just like sitting on the grass and it was such a beautiful day. We were flying kites, that was yesterday. I'm filming this Monday morning and it was just so fun. So I'll, I'll find like a little picture for the month, like probably an Easter picture or something. I might try to use the Polaroid again just because I think it's really fun. But this is just kind of a weird photo to put in the Polaroid because it's again, it's just so like tall, you know, um, trying to get the kite in there and then Julia's all the way down there. So we'll see, but I think that's cute for now. So I think that's pretty much everything for this monthly plan with me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you found it helpful if you're, you know, learning how to digital plan and everything like that. Um, just play around with it as much as you can is my best advice. Just practice, 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 and it'll, you'll, it'll become easier in time. And I know a lot of people can get nervous about it. Like if you're uncomfortable with technology and things like that. I do not consider myself to be tech savvy at all, but I, like I said, I just watched a ton of YouTube videos and, you know, practiced a ton. And now like I'm still learning and learning like different tricks and things like that. Um, but it's fun. Like I enjoy that process of just like experimenting and trying new things. Cause I don't have to worry about like I feel like you can't really do that as much like on paper with stickers because eventually the stickers lose their stickiness and you know you just um, you can experiment but then like once you use that page if that makes sense like then it's done whereas like with digital planning you have like more of that flexibility and freedom to really experiment and figure out you know how you want your spread to look and everything it's just really fun so but that's everything we have going on for April. So it's definitely going to be a busy month. I'm pretty nervous about Julia's appointment. She was supposed to go this past last month and then they pushed it out again. I don't know what it is about the like dermatologists, but they are just like, they're constantly rescheduling and stuff and it kind of drives me crazy. But um, they said that for sure the 15th should work. So let's cross our fingers because I'd like to just like get that over with. So. She's, um, my, my baby girl, she's a year and a half now, which is crazy. She's, well, she's going to be a year and a half on April 7th, but which is, uh, anyways, um, they grow up way too quick. So she's got a Port Weinstein birthmark all along her left leg, her left foot and her left butt cheek. And so they're going to do some laser therapy on it to lighten it up and stuff. And we weren't worried so much about like the look of it, but it, the dermatologist was telling us that that type of birthmark and where it's at and everything like that, it can cause her some discomfort in the future. And they really recommended doing it when she's so young, because as you can imagine, as she gets bigger, the birthmark's going to get bigger because it just stretches out. It doesn't stay little. It's going to stretch out with her skin and stuff like that. So um, right now is the ideal time for it, but I'm just really nervous about it. I have peace in mind now that we are making the right decision with it, but I just don't want her to be in any sort of pain or discomfort. And so that's just, it's just hard, but, um, but I think she'll, she'll be happy we did it in the future. And you know, she, if it helps her not have to deal with like, um, they said it can get really scaly and itchy and like it can thicken and just be really uncomfortable. So she doesn't have to deal with that later Then I think it'll be worth it. But yeah, so we have some exciting things coming up though. I'm really excited for Easter. It's one of my favorite holidays. Um, I love Easter service. I'm, I'm excited to go and, you know, spend the weekend with family and everything like that. And then, um, yeah, Kelsey's baby shower. I got her her gift, which I'm really excited about. I always like to do like themed type of gifts. So pretty excited about that. And then, yeah, we've got lots of birthdays coming up this month as well. So lots and lots going on you guys but anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos i hope that you guys are having a wonderful week and i will chat with you all later bye